when you struggle being an introvert or a so-called high sensitive person, forget everything you have heard before or from psychology and feel just comfortable as you are. In this video, we want to discuss introversion and high sensitivity from another perspective, from a higher perspective, because introverts and high sensitive people are very close to enlightenment. Introversion and high sensitivity are signs that you are very close to your higher self, that you have a very evolved consciousness. The ordinary psychology doesn't focus that there is this opportunity of the higher self. Okay, it did until Carl Jung's time. Well, after Carl Jung, and there are just still few followers, but that is a very rare and small gap. But the most psychologists and the most teachings from psychology and all other research or sciences just limited everything to the ego and to our awareness through senses and through thinking. Psychology also reduces everything on an ego level and observes everything there. And that's the problem. So they think introverts are not right, they are not good. Or when people are too sensitive, we have to make things to adjust them more to the society, to the loud world. But that's not good. Because the truth is that introversion and high sensitivity are signs that you have a very evolved consciousness. And that's a great thing. And that you are very sensitive is a sign. Of course, it makes sense and it's logical that your consciousness is more developed than others. Also, the higher intelligence, just if also the cognitive intelligence is higher, there's lots of research and evidence on it about introverts and high sensitive people that they have a higher intelligence. But this opportunity is not focused in the sciences, just in Buddha sciences, maybe, or in other philosophies, but not in the modern sciences. They totally forget the aspect of the higher self. How big the risks are of making introverts dull or adjusting the high sensitivity to the society. I've made another video. You can find it in the link. But with this video, I just wanted to encourage you to be as you are. And when you feel comfortable to be an introvert, then feel it and stay in your development to your higher self, to your targets to reach enlightenment. And the by effects of a higher sensitivity are just by effects. Accept them, adjust your life that it is comfortable for you with this by effects, but don't adjust to the society again. Because this will bring you a step backwards. This can even deaden you. But there is one risk, and which I have seen in all the other videos about introverts or high sensitivity. And the problem here is that introverts make a personality from it. When you don't overcome this point and say, oh, I'm so sensitive today, and I'm the sensitive person, then you don't reach the highest targets. Then you are just this person, you changed your person, maybe you were dull earlier in the childhood or in wh whenever, and you are now more sensitive and make a personality from it. I'm now this sensitive person. Then you hang around in this person again, you have a new personality, but you hang around there and don't reach the highest targets and just blame others to be too loud. This is a very, big trap here. And all the other videos about introversion and so on are about that. Most of the videos are about protecting, how can we protect against the world? And so this also causes a new fight inside of you. There's a very big problem. And so forget about that. Just follow your touches as you did before. And you can find more stuff on this channel for that. And again, just feel comfortable. Be as you are when you feel comfortable. And you prefer to have more retreats from society, take your retreats and just live as you are and just meditate and follow your path. That's all.